And tell those lazy patent examiners that 15 minutes is all the time anyone needs for lunch! Back to work! Excuse me, are you Charles H. Duell, the commissioner of the patent office of 1899? Yes, that is I. Who are you? I'm Charlie Wang. I'm a law student currently studying patent law. I see. I don't normally talk to lawyers, much less law students. But very well. What can I do for you? I heard this rumor that you wanted to stop the patent office. You were in quotas saying what can be invented has been invented. Is that true? Oh, bosh and balderdash! I never said any such thing! I thought that was kind of odd. What was your view then about the future of the patent office? Perhaps you've heard President McKinley's annual message. He said, and I quote, our future progress and prosperity depend upon our ability to equal, if not surpass, other nations in the enlargement and advance of science, industry, and commerce. Indeed. To that I add, we must turn to invention as one of the most powerful aids in the accomplishment of such a result. So you think there's no limit to things that people can invent? Of course not! How silly. In my opinion, all previous advances in the various lines of invention will appear totally insignificant when compared to those of the present century we'll witness. How I wish that I might live my life again to see the wonders which are at the threshold. I said that in 1902. You were right. The 20th century saw the invention of the airplane, the rocket ship, travel to the moon, and the internet. I, don't get me started on a cell phone. I can't do without my iPhone. I'm a Samsung man myself. Have you heard of Ecclesiastes? Are you familiar with the Bible? I, sir, am a good Christian man. Of course I've read the Bible. Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 9. What has been will be again. What has been done has been done again. Everything has been done under the sun. What do you think about that? History does seem to repeat itself. People are slow to learn the lessons of the past, but nothing new under the sun? Why, clever people will always think of new machines, new processes, new medicines, even new modes of travel. Why, I expect someday that we'll even be able to teleport ourselves. Perhaps even travel to some distant stars or planets. The wonders of this present century will continue to amaze. Oh, I'm late for class. I better teleport myself out of here. Thank you, Mr. Duel. Anytime, Charlie. Anytime. <laughs>